Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it is for March 2021 uh, for the sign of Gemini. So let's get straight into your reading. I'm going to choose the first card for you, Gemini. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Geminis, March 2021. Thank you. Okay, first card out, we have keep your commitments. Interesting. I mean, that might even mean something for some of you. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, what is the message from Spirit? Okay, Gemini, so second message, we have trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Uh, something to do with trust. Maybe different paths, different avenues open to you this month. Let's pull another card. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for Gemini? Our lovely Geminis, March 2021. And remember, these messages are messages, ultimately. Okay, yeah, <laughs> how strange, because we're getting new directions here. Isn't that funny that we just spoke about that? We have Between Worlds, New Directions. I love this energy. I think it's a turtle, if you can see the image. It's a really nice image. And it's being held by the cosmos, the universe. You're being carried, guided. So again, this trust energy. If your intuition, the message is don't fight your intuition this month. If you're instinctively being led towards a certain area or a certain path, this is about trusting that. Okay, let's pull the final card. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Love the, butter the butterfly. Um, we have be ready to transform with wisdom. Archangel Premanilic, be ready to transform with wisdom. This can be finding answers, information, news, conversations this month. Um, but also, it's the feeling if you have the answers that you need to bring transformation to your life right now. There's definite transformation available to you. The, but the butterfly emerges from a chrysalis. It merges from one form to another. It is very much about change. It is very much about transformation. And it feels like that's available to you this month, Gemini. So let's... New paths, new avenues. Things that you might not even have considered. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel spirits, guides in the cards. So the first card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to, Gemini. And the third card is final words or actions. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for our lovely Geminis. What does Gemini need, need, need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, so one card. We have the Eight of Swords, which is actually Gemini energy. The devil is what the message pertains to and the moon. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. Okay. And I have the six of coins here, Gemini. Okay. So Gemini, the eight of swords is Jupiter in Gemini. Yeah. And Jupiter is expansion, growth, it's the wheel of fortune, good luck, good fortune. But in this energy, with there's negative thinking, it's almost kind of like blocking. Expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune, it's how we can hold ourselves back, how the mind 
When it's in the state of focusing on negativity, we can be our own prisoners. We can be our own captives. It's the prisoner of the mind energy, how our mind holds us hostage when we focus on the negative. And there's so much around us to bring expansion and growth, but we're not seeing it. You know, it's that kind of energy. Spirit's recognising this. Spirit's recognising this. I mean, this can be a card of overthinking, being really in your own head about negative things, things that, you know, it's almost kind of like this person is focusing so much on what's out there, how these swords are coming towards them, that they're not actually focusing on their own power, their own strength, their own inner core, you know, their own light. There's definitely this energy, Gemini, of the, it feels like something in your external environment is keeping you stuck. You're letting something, it feels like you're letting something dictate. Um, external forces dictate how your mind is keeping you stuck. You know, it feels like there's a domino effect. You know, one is affecting the other. And I'm definitely feeling in this instance, there is a need to get perspective. Because, you know, Jupiter and Gemini, there is so much around you. There is so much around you in terms of potential expansion growth. But you won't see it in this energy with the devil. Because the devil is when we're powerless. It's a negative, can be a negative energy. It can be a card of feeling boundaries. Feeling that things are beyond your control. Feeling powerless. And really, the devil is an illusion. You know, we give power to the idea of the devil. Um, the devil only exists because we allow it to. It's a card of, it can be codependent relationships, addiction. Um, if you're struggling with addiction, if you're struggling in relationships, that could be at work, that could be with friends, family, home life, you know, personal relationships. This can be a card of unhealthy relationships, manipulation, power struggles. Um, somebody who understands this, the, he's the puppeteer, he understands how to pull strings. So it can be a person, it can be a situation, but it's a situation that's unstable. It's a situation that has the illusion of making you feel powerless, keeping you stuck in your own head. And here, with the moon energy, you're being told to... Yeah, in one end, on one perspective, the moon energy is a card of surrender, trust in the universe, because this is a card of hidden blessings. You are being guided. And again, this is what I was getting through this energy. You know, there is definitely some message of keep some kind of commitment um, in whatever aspect this is, Gemini. I mean, don't break, don't break appointments if you're suffering with some kind of, you know, for example, if there is some kind of appointment or, or things that you need to do in your life, you know, thing, certain commitments that you have, this is about staying true to those. And this is a card of trust. The moon card is a card of blind trust, surrender. Allow yourself to be carried towards new directions by the cosmos because even though this devil is negative energy it's shadow energy and this these two are shadow cards you are being carried you are being held but you need to connect to your intuition you need to really listen to your intuition to understand what the universe is trying to tell you to bring great, great transformation to your life now and that's what you're being told you have the opportunity to emerge from the chrysalis to the butterfly this month. Um, this is a card of hidden blessings. Sometimes this can occur, and I say this all the time, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does, it can be where there's a lack of clarity. There is just a need to trust. Because the Six of Pentacles is a lovely energy of the universe telling you it's your time to receive. I mean, this can be somebody reaching out, giving, I mean, it's very good in terms of money, business, career, um, but it can also be a card of exchange, you know, information, advice, help, support, guidance, you know, all of that kind of energy. But there's definitely an energy of it's your time to receive. 
So I love the energy for that reason. It's interesting. Yeah, have faith. Have faith. And again, the Queen of Cups. Um, I mean, she is very good in terms of love, romance, relationships. She's a card of emo finding emotional stability again. Um, Queen of Cups is also somebody who connects to their intuition. And she trusts her intuition. She's pure water energy. Water is all about intuition in tarot. So there's definitely this energy of trusting your intuition. Have faith. You are being guided. You know, this can be some, it can be a holy person, the Hierophant. It can be a mentor, a teacher. Um, but it is definitely, you will, you might be given some advice, but it's also a reminder that God, the universe, the divine is watching over you guiding you through your intuition to stability, emotional stability in particular, and connecting you to who you are, finding your flow once more, because that Queen of Cups is an energy of, I am who I am, I'm connected to my truth, you know, I am connected to my soul light, I understand how to align to my soul path, there are hidden blessings here, and an energy of it's your time to receive, so I love the energy here. It feels like you have the opportunity to come back to who you are, Gemini, and overcome some kind of devil energy. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Queen of Cups is a card of Cancer. You might be given some advice or support from a mother or, you know, could be parent, can be male or female energy, um, a caring person, compassionate, a good listener, somebody who you have a bond with. But there's definitely an energy that you should take any advice from that kind of person. Okay. So yeah, we have, we will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware, number 32. I mean, I love the energy. I love this, this energy of feeling like you're a bit in limbo, but you're not. You're actually being guided, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does. So it's a lovely, lovely message. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.